hey there, hit the floor running today. Wasn't going to do a video today, but we've got some post. So, uh, yeah, disclaimer, uh, these are my thoughts and opinions on this bollocks. And also, I swear. So, let's get straight into that, shall we? And call these fucking shit bugs out. Right, so I've got up today with a letter to the legal occupier. Now, I don't know the... Uh, now, oh, yeah, with another disclaimer I'm going to put at the front of this one. I don't know what the fuck I'm on about on this particular subject, right? I just know where my ethics and morals lie. I do, however, have quite the little knowledgeable crew on Facebook where if I needed help with this, literally, they'd get rinsed, right? Because I know, I know some clever people. Um, the sort of like my, my, <laughs> the intellectual version of people who come round and kneecap you, that kind of thing. <laughs> Other people threaten you with hard people. I threaten you with clever people, mate. Trust me, it hurts way more. Um, so yeah, so I've had a letter from TV licensing, right? My second in a month. Uh, now, if you, I don't know whether you can tell this. I'm coming down with something. Um, I don't know. It's I, I went out at the weekend clubbing and it was in a really sweaty little room. <laughs> it's a little sweaty box. <laughs> so sorry. I don't know whether whether it's that, but uh, <clears throat> coming down with something. Anyway, so I had this letter. Now, I've not paid my TV licence since I stopped watching TV. Right, I don't watch anything on the BBC. Um, she's lying. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't gonna go well. This one is it? All right, okay. So I watch TV for the longest amount of years. I can't watch live TV. A adverts can't do them. Now, if you watch any of my videos, especially the one I did yesterday, you know I cannot stand. Fucking adverts, they are, yes, I watched Love Island, yes, I watched bloody uh, The Masked Singer, and yes, it is brain-destroying TV. Like, every time when I watch Love Island, I'm like, oh, God, I forgot about the screaming. They're meant to be adults. They scream at everything. It's, oh, mate. You feel your brain cells dying, right? But that's how I get away. You know, like, I like escapism, right? I like banal shit. I also like to people watch. So, yeah, I watch this stuff, but I watch it on catch-up, right? So I can't watch live because of adverts, but also because I'm constantly pausing stuff. And, like, I've got ADHD, can't, just don't have the attention span to sit and watch a whole thing at one go. I'm like, oh, shit, God, do the oh, look a squirrel, that kind of thing. So, like, I'll get up, I'll go put my computer on for a bit, and I'll, I'm still halfway through. It's, it's Wednesday now, and I'm, I'm still halfway through. No, I haven't. I've finished Friday's Love Island. Yeah, anyways, right? So I, I watch it on catch-up, right? I bought my daughter uh, several years ago. Um, <clears throat> said, like, what, why are you doing it? You don't watch telly, you just buy a fire stick. I don't watch anything on the BBC anyway. The BBC bores me fucking senseless. Plus, I don't support pedos. Now, I'm not saying that everybody at the BBC is a pedo, but I'm just saying Jimmy Savile hasn't been sorted yet, right? He's been dead for years. It all came out after he was dead that basically the BBC were turning a blind eye to rape and um, necrophilia and you know, kitty fiddling and, you know, you know, having sex with disabled people who can't argue or, don't, you know, the BBC has never put that to bed. I am not giving them any money. They are not having my money. They're not having my patronage. I will not watch the BBC, all right? <clears throat> now, that, 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 that old wheelie bin, need to do a proper video on wheelie bins. Uh, old Willie Ben, 
Um, oh, and also, if you look at the front, I don't know whether you've ever seen, you should, surely you've seen by now because somebody tried to destroy the bloody thing. Uh, there's a picture of a kitty giving a dude a blowy on the front of the BBC built bed picture, statue. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, bat, 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 old wheelie bin. I'm lying. I'll always have put my hand up when I'm, t- when I'm not telling you the truth. Uh, and this is the left, so... I'm like if, if I'm lying, I'll look over towards that tattoo, right? If I'm if I'm fathoming a lie, this is the hand that you'll see my eyes go to. Should have my eyes visible, shouldn't I? Really, but they look like puddles appear in the moonlight, as my mum used to say. Uh, so yeah, so basically, I did. I have in the past broken this rule, which apparently is. Does it say it's a law? Da, 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 da. I swear. Anyways, right. So uh, <clears throat> I have watched. I watched the World Cup. I think that was on BBC One because John Gook was uh, playing, and also in Go Land, right? And also, um, I watched Eurovision last year. I think. Um. And I will hold my hand up. I am not paying you however much your bollocky fucking shite costs. I'm sure it's over 100 quid. Don't have 100 quid to give to a fucking pedo supporter um, who literally doesn't bloody care. Who? Right. Come on, carry on. Calm the fuck down, love. Calm the fuck down. Bring it in. Don't do videos when you're not very well. Um, Let's just read the letter and go from here. Uh, Officers have now been authorised to visit this address. It says that at the top. That's the very first. And the address was on there. Fuck it. Um, Dear legal occupier, as your property is still unlicensed, your details have been passed to our enforcement division. Now, I think that the last letter... Well, it was it, it was threatening. These letters are threatening, right? Now, I don't give two shiny shits, right? I will go in front of a court of law and tell them exactly why I have, in the past fucking how, no, how many years, um, since I've not had a TV licence, I have watched live TV twice supporting my country. I will tell them. And I will, I will literally, I will go down fucking screaming, mate. But it won't come to that because they just threaten. It's scare tactics. And they're doing this to little old fucking ladies who've been convinced by their grandkids. No, if you get a fire stick, you're fine. And then they're getting this and it's like, oh, no, I can't. I can't. You know, because it's threatening. You could be prosecuted if enforcement officers then find out that you have been watching or recording programmes as they're being... Recording it on what? If you could answer that in the comments. Recording... Sort of like what? VHS? You can you record from your TV? What, what do you record it on? Oh, help me, please. I'm so techno- technologically retarded. Jesus Christ, I don't know what's going on. Can you? Can you? Uh, this could be on any device. All right, here we go. <laughs> it tells you. <laughs> or, or does that mean watching? This could be on any device, including a TV, desktop computer, laptop, mobile phone, tablet, games console, digital box, or DVD, VHS recorder. Do they still have VHS recorders? Or is this just for the oldies? I don't get it been so long <laughs> i do actually have a vhs recorder um because i've got some like videos of when i was on telly and shit <laughs> so, um if, of course if you don't need a license we'd like to stop writing to you yeah because it's costing you money they're paying money to threaten me please visit to let us know we may confirm this with a visit. <laughs> uh, 
A, tvl.co.uk can fuck off. I am not going out of my way. Literally, spend your money. Investigate me. Send somebody around my house. Spend your money. Bring it. Bring it, bitch. Um... Uh, what to expect when you are visited? Offices, offices visit properties every day of the week, morning and evening. They will show you proof of identity before investigating your property and will be courteous of all times. If they find you are watching TV, recording or downloading TV illegally, illegal, it's a law you may be interviewed under caution in a caution with current national criminal law. So literally, if I was to put BBC One on right now and watch a bit of the shite on BBC One, which is predominantly news, which is predominantly lies, let's face it, they are the worst for bloody lies, um, then I'm, I'm a crim. I'm a crim if I choose to put the telly. Fuck off. So, yeah, so basically, these people, they can send people out. They can send, but they can take me to court. That cost a bob, wouldn't it? It's like literally, mate, spend all of your fucking money. But you're having none of mine. And no, this isn't like... Um, that puts the price up for the rest of us and whatever, because they are making a fucking fortune. They put their prices up. It's not because Kerry Ann Howitt has just decided she's going to watch a bit of East End. Oh, good God, no. It's not, you know, like, so don't be thinking, oh, you're being reckless. You're saying they could spend their money. That makes it worse for the rest of us. No, it doesn't. They're sending out letters. They are threatening. They are making empty threats. They are saying that, like, Oh, 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 hold a minute. Let me say that. Uh, this could lead to prosecution and a fine of up to £1,000 plus legal costs and or any compensation you may be ordered to pay. And at the bottom, if you continue watching TV, you will also have to pay for a TV licence. <laughs> I ain't buying a TV licence, mate. I don't fucking need one. Now, I did tell them this years ago when I cancelled. So I have been through this process and they have said, right, that's absolutely fine. No worries. You go along your merry way, love. You don't use it. You don't need it. It's cancelled, right? And I'd paid up, like, I, I paid it annually and uh, I'd got about two years left in credit. Riddle me that fucker. They'd taken more than they should have done. I ain't having my money. So, yeah, so basically, TV licensing can uh, lick my sweaty left knacker. And I would encourage you to do the same. Get yourself a fire stick, watch shit on catch up. Um, unless you're addicted to live TV, which I should imagine a lot of people these days are from the last four years that we've had. There's quite a few that are. But um, if you're a Netflix person, you don't need one unless you're watching live TV or any BBC whatso fucking ever. What? What? Literally, come on. Come the fuck on. So, yeah, apologise for all the swearing. Apologise for... Uh, I've probably left a few wheelie bins in the wind. Uh, but I do feel like crap. I just needed to vent my spleen at the uh, moment that I read the letter. Thank you for being with me, and I shall speak to you soon. I love you all. Bye.